Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am your host, Daniel from Dragon Films, and welcome to this thing I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure what to call it. Uh, this is going to be kind of a different video. Um, it's something I don't usually do, and it's something I'm probably not going to do too much in the future. But I really wanted to do it for you guys because it's just something I am super ecstatic about. You can see the title of the video, so obviously you know what I'm doing. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is kind of a breakdown, analysis, review, reaction thing to the new God of War trailer that uh, was revealed at the um, E3 2016 Sony press conference. If you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't seen the trailer for yourself yet, then I recommend that you go see it yourself. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so you guys can go check it out. So if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend that you check it out because it looks amazing. Now, the reason I'm doing this is mainly just because I love God of War so much. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how much I've mentioned it in videos before, but um, I am a huge God of War fan. God of War is one of the first games that, as a child, I remember passing, like beating completely. It's one of the first gaming exp experiences that I really remember in general. So um, I am super, super excited to uh, do this for you guys, and I was so stoked when I was, wa um, I was watching the E3 2016, uh, press conference, um, as it was happening, I wasn't there or anything, um, I live in California, so I'm kind of close to it, but, uh, I wasn't there just because I don't have the funds for it, I was watching a live stream, and, uh, oh man, it was just the great, first of all, let me just talk about the reveal, um, it was the most amazing thing ever, because, uh, they opened with the God of War trailer, that was the first thing they showed, and it opened with just this guy coming out, he was, a uh, um, conductor, and, uh, this music started playing, there was a full, uh, orchestra there, they were playing this epic sounding music, and the second I heard it go off, the second I heard all of the instruments start playing, and the, um, singers start hitting their notes and doing their own thing, as soon as I heard that happen, I thought to myself, this sounds like God of War. I didn't want to hype myself up too much because I didn't want to get disappointed, but I was like, this sounds a lot, a lot like God of War, and I got super excited. And then the trailer opens up, and we just see Kratos walk out, and I was like, you got, honestly, um, if I had taped my reaction to this, you guys probably would have been freaked out. I was like, oh my god, there's no way this is actually happening. Yeah! I was like jumping up and screaming because this is like... This, the God of War series is like so super dear to my heart. It's one of the first, like I said earlier, it's one of the first games I ever remember playing. It's um, the first game I ever passed. It's the first game I ever played more than once. It's just, oh, it's such a legendary series. Not only for me, but I'm sure for a lot of other gamers as well. Oh my goodness, it's just, I love it to bits. I love this game so much. I love Kratos so much. I love Greek mythology so much and just... Oh, man, I, I can't even, th there's a countless number of memories and things I could tell you, and I could gush about this all day, but like I said, the purpose of this video is to do a breakdown and stuff of this um, game, but just, I, I figured I would do it because I'm such a huge fan. Uh, I have every single God of War game ever, and every single game Kratos features in ever. Uh, Soul Calibur Lost chain sword something like that so i have the soul caliber game he's in i have um the mortal kombat game he's in i have playstation all-stars which obviously since he's a playstation icon he's in and i have god of war one two three ascension uh chains of olympus and ghost of sparta uh if there's anything i'm missing i have it because i'm just a, such a huge fan but uh anyways i've been stalling too much i've been talking about this for far too long i'm gonna get right into the trailer here um if you'd like, you can look at, uh, I'm gonna be putting, like, screenshots and stuff, like, on the screen as I'm doing this, but, uh, if you would like, you can follow along with the trailer yourself. What I'm gonna be doing is just going through the trailer again and making sure I'm, like, analyzing everything correctly and making sure there's nothing I miss or don't mention. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna start watching the trailer myself. I'm gonna cut out all the parts where I pause and I'm just watching. This is, like I said, this is mainly just gonna be a, a discussion and stuff like that, but if you wanna pop up the trailer next to you yourself and, uh, see what's going on, like I said, if you haven't seen it, you can check it out now if you'd like, but, uh, anyways, I've been talking for way too long, so, uh, I'm sorry about that, but, um, I'm gonna get started with the trailer here, okay. So, as we can see, as it opens... <clears throat> The first thing we see, okay, I want to mention this real quick. Alright, now if you notice while the kid is here, 
Uh, this little child here is playing with the tours. Uh, tours. T <laughs> toys! Sorry. Uh, while this little kid is playing with the toys, the first thing he said, and, and, um, again, what I'm saying, um, I'm gonna be gushing over this so much because I love God of War, and, uh, some of these things might be me just overanalyzing stuff and overthinking stuff because, uh, God of War is the kind of game where you kind of have to do that, uh, especially for puzzles and stuff, but, um, the first thing the child says while he's, uh, playing with the toys and just having them beat each other up and stuff like a little kid does, like how I used to do when I was smaller with my Spider-Man action figures and stuff like that, um, what he said was that uh, dumb hammer doesn't scare me. Now, the reason I, I, I think this is kind of cool, and again, I might just be overanalyzing, I might just be being silly and not really making any sense to you guys, but the reason I think this is cool is because I think the kid might be talking about Kratos and the Barbarian. Because if you remember um, the story of Kratos, if you've been following the God of War series, um, Kratos has had two big fights. Two, uh, one that happened before the first game uh, and one that happened in the second game um, well according to the timelines uh, he fought this barbarian warrior leader who had this giant hammer as his weapon and in God of War 2 once you defeat him uh, the second time you get to use that hammer uh, again this might just be me over analyzing stuff but uh, I just thought that was pretty cool um, if it if that is what he's talking about he might just be being silly but um, yeah, I, I, I'm thinking maybe that's why he said that dumb hammer doesn't scare me, because he is pretending to be like Kratos. And um, I want to mention this too, it has been officially confirmed that uh, the child is Kratos' son. Because um, the first time I saw the trailer, I didn't know exactly who he was, because Kratos refer uh, in the trailer, Kratos refers to the boy as boy. So he doesn't really specifically identify that it's his son, and it, it is kind of obvious, but I just didn't want to say anything without knowing. But uh, it has been officially confirmed by the, um, the people. <laughs> I don't really know exactly who it was, but it has been officially confirmed this child is indeed Kratos' son. So uh, another question I have for you guys is, who do you think the mother is? And how do you think Kratos found her? Because I'm really, really interested in that. Because, um, if you know the story of God of War, Kratos' wife and first child, her, uh, his daughter Calliope, are both dead by his hand. Sorry if you don't know the God of War story, that's a, kind of a huge spoiler, I apologize if you don't know, but, um, his family is dead. Yeah, his wife. More specifically, his wife. Because this leads us to the question, who could the mom possibly be? I'm really interested in this just because I want to know who it is. I have a theory. That obviously, everybody's going to have their theories and thoughts as of right now. But I have a theory that maybe, uh, you know, uh, Kratos has been a player for many years. Uh, if you've played the God of War games, you kind of know what I'm talking about. Maybe this is just some kid that some woman dropped off and said, Here, this is your kid, you know? Like a surprise kind of thing. And that's why he calls him boy and not, Oh, my child, oh, my son. But... That could also just be because Kratos is a Spartan and he was raised in the most hardcore military fashion possible. So, um, th this is all just speculation. Like I said, I'm going to be rambling a lot. I'm going to be talking a lot. I'm going to be gushing a lot. So, I apologize if I go off track like I kind of did right now. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for just that first segment. I was just thinking that might be pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, let's, let's continue. I'm going to continue uh, watching myself here. So, uh, as the trailer continues, the child gets called in by none other than Kratos, and so we see him walk in, blah, 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 whatever. Again, I'm watching the trailer as this happens, so, again, you can play it side by side if you want, but uh, I'm going to be pausing it at different rates and stuff like that, so, you know, just, just pay attention, or at least if you want to, you don't have to, obviously. But, um, yeah. So... I think the um, the story that they've revealed for us so far in this trailer is pretty interesting um, because, you know, uh, um, one of the first things uh, Kratos says to the boy is, you know, your, your mom taught you how to hunt and they're just kind of, I, I think this is just kind of giving us a little bit of a backstory and kind of settling us into the environment and now this the next part that comes after that, the reveal of Kratos, oh my goodness, you do not know how ecstatic I was when I saw him walk out, oh my goodness, it was insanity, I loved it so much, I was so happy, it was one of the greatest things I've felt like in my entire life, and um, 
if you look here, if you look here at this part of the trailer, you can kind of see some extra little details here. If you look at his right eye, you can see the scar that um, was given to him when, I believe it was Ares, uh, pushed him into a pile of wood as a child, and that's how he got that scar. And if you look at his chest, his uh, abdomen, you can see the scar from the blade of Olympus when it stabbed him so I thought that was really awesome I just think it's pretty cool that you know like when I saw those things I, I knew it was Kratos like I mean cuz you see the tattoo and the bald head and stuff like that but he looks different he has a beard um, anybody else could have gotten that tattoo so when I saw those things it was just kind of a cool little confirmation for me I guess I don't know but it was just one of the most epic reveals that has ever existed it was I, it was just awesome to me Personally, I believe. Now, as this trailer continues, um, we kind of see the kind of relationship that Kratos has to his son here. He's kind of rough and abrasive towards him, and that's expected for the upbringing that uh, Kratos himself was given. As I said earlier, he was brought up in a military Spartan environment as a warrior, so it's only natural that he has that kind of um, relationship towards his son that he wants to pass on that same kind of thing to him. So I think that's a really interesting kind of thing he does. Now, um, they're, they're walking through the forest and they're uh, starting their hunt, and um, something happened. Um, the, the boy, sorry, I'm, <laughs> like I said, I'm just like, ugh, I'm so excited about this, but as they continue along their path, the boy notices some tracks, and at the bottom right corner, it says knowledge gained on hunting, plus 25, I think, I just kind of skipped over it here, but, um, knowledge gained. Now, I'm really curious to see what's going to happen, specifically with the upgrade system, just because I know that in the past... Uh, the God of War upgrade system has been very, very linear. Like, it, it was basically, you collected your red orbs, you put them into whatever weapon you wanted, and they selected some upgrades for you to get. But I'm thinking that in this game, they're trying to reinvent a lot of things, not only just with the camera and some of the mechanics, but even with the upgrade system as well. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how they go with the upgrade system in this game. I really hope it works out well, because... I personally really like the old upgrade system. I like games where I can kind of just go through the story and not have to worry about me choosing a lot of different things. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to dislike the game or uh, like the game any more or less because of this change. I'm just saying that I'm used to it and it's not a bad thing. So I'm hoping that it becomes an improvement that um, it's not just kind of a thing where they change systems completely. And if they do, I'm not going to be really too upset or anything like that. I love God of War for what it is. Um, but I'm just really curious as to see where they're going to take the upgrade system. Uh, as the trailer continues and you go even further, I think there's another segment somewhere a little bit later when you, um, when you get some more knowledge gained on other stuff. So I'm just really curious because it says plus 25, plus 50, stuff like that. So... I really, really want to see how the upgrade system works because, um, well, like I said, like I've been mentioning and talking about this whole time, obviously, it's just, it's really interesting to see the direction that they're taking it in, and I'm just really, really hoping that it ends up on a plus and not just a complete and total change and something that's, like, eerily, utterly, and just completely different, so, um, I'm gonna keep going here. Now, as they keep going down their path and they keep hunting... You can see Kratos starting to mentor the son and just kind of talk to him about what's going on. Uh, it's very, um, the, the demo, the gameplay trailer is very linear. They just kind of uh, guide you along this path. One thing I thought was really interesting about this, um, there's this one part specifically where um, they find the, uh, I don't know if it's elk or deer, I don't know specifically, but they find the animal that they're hunting and the boy gets all excited and shoots at it immediately the animal gets scared and runs off. And then we see this little segment here where Kratos gets pretty angry. He, he gets pretty angry at his son here. I, he kind of like, he doesn't have an outburst, but um, I forget the exact words he says. Um, I'm very, very bad at memorization and stuff like that and quoting and stuff like that. Um, I mentioned it in my diep.io video. 
I could say something and then forget it like two seconds later. So I apologize if like I, I say something silly in this thing because I do have the trailer like right here in front of me. But I'm just like going off on my ramble talking about all this stuff. So yeah. But uh, Kratos has this outburst on his son when he screws up and um, misses his target and doesn't take the right course of action. And if you look at the top right, there's this little meter. Um, it's like a little rage meter. We see it in action again later in the trailer. But uh, as you can see, it kind of flares up and it uh, uh, goes up a little. And I thought that was a really interesting mechanic. And it's also kind of a storytelling mechanic as well. Because we see Kratos have this little kind of an outburst with his kid and we kind of see him... Uh, having a little rage towards him and kind of revealing more of how he originally is to his son but Kratos actually manages to calm himself down and to actually um, to actually calm himself down and to actually uh, be calm cool and collective and to actually start talking to his son in a more natural way rather than just having an angry outburst at him and just yelling at him and just being this big ball of rage that we know and love Kratos as. And I think this is a really interesting um, character trait for Kratos to try and take on. I know that in the past, um, in all of his games, he's just been this big ball of rage who's just been ripping creatures apart and just seeking his vengeance against the gods and against everyone else who stood in his way. The Sisters of Fate, Ares, it goes on and on and on. And... He's just been such this big ball of rage and hate and despair and, and anger for so long. We've just known him as this character for so long. And it's really, really refreshing to see him try and calm himself down, to try and be a little bit more considerate to his son. Because um, a as quoted by the new voice actor from God of War in the PlayStation, uh, in one of their uh, interviews, um, how is Kratos going to be able to father to his son when he's never been fathered? Because in Kratos' upbringing, he was poured into this pile of kids who were just going to be trained as soldiers. So he didn't really have much interaction with his father or, I don't believe, either of his parents that much at all. So I think this is a really interesting um, part of the story for them to try and explore. So I thought that was really, really interesting. Now as the trailer continues, we just kind of see um, Kratos actually... Um, he, he remains pretty calm and he just says, you know, he tells his son to just continue the hunt he just says um find it you know i don't care what happened i don't care find your animal find your hunt okay now as they come up to the next area in the trailer this monster uh comes out and as we look at this part right here i think this is really interesting and i want to talk about this for a second Kratos first raises up his axe, which is the weapon that's been hanging on his back this whole time, and he raises it up, and we get a little close-up of this weapon, and it turns to ice. Now, if you guys remember God of War Ascension, the main weapon in that game, and I think uh, one of the only weapons in that game besides like magical abilities and stuff, were the Blades of Chaos. But what they did with the Blades of Chaos was give them different elemental powers. They gave them the Ice of Poseidon, uh, the Flame of Ares, the Lightning of Zeus, and the Soul Power of Hades. And we saw all those different things in action. They all had their different magical ability. They all had different combos. They all had different special moves and stuff like that. So I'm really curious as to see where they're going to go with this new weapon. Uh, I am kind of sad to see the Chain Blades go because they're some of the most creative, awesome weapons I've ever had. I do hope they at least make a cameo in this game somewhere or at least are mentioned in the story. Or maybe there's like a flashback where you get to use them for a couple minutes or something. I don't know. Uh, I am kind of sad to see them go, but not too sad because it is good to see them go in a different direction with the weapon and try something completely new, just like they did with the camera and the combat system and everything like that overall. So I'm really curious as to see where they're going to take this weapon, and I think it'd be really cool if they kind of started following that same pattern of the elemental stuff, if they went with like ice and fire and lightning and maybe even earth this time or something like that, because now that we're in Norse mythology, it's not going to be the same as Hades' souls. But that's just a theory right now, uh, but I think it would be really cool if the axe kind of turned into these different elemental things. Um, and the reason I say this is because as we see the axe, uh, as we see Kratos raise the axe up, 
Uh, at first, it's just a regular blade, but then uh, there's these markings around it that start glowing blue, and the axe itself actually turns into an ice blade. Like, it turns into an icicle, like a little shard of ice. So, I'm really hoping they implement some elemental stuff into this thing. Uh, as the game continues, maybe we discover more elements, and maybe we discover fire, lightning, and other stuff such as that. So I just thought that was really cool. Now, we see Kratos fighting off these monsters, and it's just kind of casual. He's slicing them up so far. But uh, we see him um, throw one of these monsters against a wall and impale him on that wall while his axe is gone. And then he turns to one of the other monsters and actually starts just beating the crap out of him with his fists. Now, I thought this was really cool because in God of War Ascension, we got a little... little uh, Excuse me. In God of War Ascension, we got a little bit of a taste of this, but we didn't really see it fully fleshed out and fully formed. Uh, what you could do was... Um, you would start it uh you would start a small combo with your um blades of chaos and then you would start pressing your side weapon button your action button and then you would start doing like a small three hit combo of uh punches and then you could jump up in the air and slam on the ground you could kick to disarm enemies from their weapons and stuff like that so i thought that was a, a really cool part um of that game but now that uh, obviously they're going a lot deeper in this new one so yeah but uh, as we watch it more, I'm really curious to see how they um, d do the hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat system too. It was cool to see it in Ascension, but it looks a lot more detailed and a lot cooler in this one. Now, another thing that I thought was just pretty cool is how um, Kratos commands the axe to come back to him. He just kind of levitates it, to well, quote-unquote levitates it toward him. Uh, after impaling the enemy uh, in the head, I believe. I, uh, that's not an important detail, sorry. Like I said, I ramble a lot. But um, uh, it was mentioned in uh, a conference or uh, interview or whatever you want to call it that um, the axe would actually be used in more ways than just combat. It would actually be kind of a puzzle thing. And personally, I thought that was really interesting how you're going to use that exactly. I don't know how you could... Um, they mentioned it could be, quote-unquote, some kind of, like, boomerang. Um, again, I'm not really sure how they're going to do it exactly. Uh, I'm really interested to see what they do with it, and that's just kind of a little extra thing. It's not like a... <clears throat> excuse me. It's not like a super important detail, so yeah. Oh, and another thing I kind of forgot to mention uh, earlier is I really appreciate how similar Kratos' outfit looks to his original clothing in all of the older games, because if you look at it, if you look at his... Um, if you look at his arms, first of all, his forearms, he has the same wraps around him that he usually has. So that's one thing I think is pretty cool. If you look at his feet, he has the same wraps and sandals that he usually has, except kind of in a different style and a more, like, suited for the cold weather that he's in right now. He's um, And if you look at his waist and his legs, um, you could see that similar kind of flaps, like from his, um, his man skirt that he had in the previous games. Uh, he kind of has a similar looking thing now. So I just think it's cool how they're keeping everything uh, continuous and they're keeping all that continuity. Uh, same way with the scars that I mentioned earlier and the, the tattoo. The tattoo even looks a little faded now because uh, he's growing older. So just a couple of small little details that I think are pretty cool. Uh, you can see all of them throughout the demo. This isn't like something specifically significant. I just thought it was really cool. Now Kratos and his son continue moving along this path. And this freaking giant troll monster comes out and just bursts the bridge that they're walking on apart. And they fall down and the troll grabs Kratos and he starts speaking in some kind of ancient Nordic language. Um, it has been confirmed that it is indeed not English and that it is some kind of ancient other language. Um, but he mentions Valhalla. So I'm not really sure exactly what that means. I'm pretty sure it's not too important. But maybe uh, Kratos and his son were um, venturing close to Valhalla and he was some kind of protector. Or maybe he's just saying um, something about how he needs to get there or something. I don't know. It's just kind of a small detail. Um, so yeah, like I said, not super important, but just kind of a little extra thing. So Kratos, oh god, my voice crack. Kratos, like a freaking the beast that he is and that we know and love, straight up punches this troll in the face, knocks him back, 
and hands um, the arrow back to the the bow, not the arrows, hands his, uh, the boy's bow back to him and says, here, now's your chance. He's giving him an opportunity to prove himself as a warrior, which I think was really cool. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention, um, as the trailer continues, the combat kind of goes on. Uh, we see... Uh, the troll pick up this giant stone thing, I'm not really sure what to call it, and uh, starts using it as kind of a battering ram against Kratos and his son. And uh, Kratos does his thing, he swings his axe at the, um, at the troll's leg and does some damage and, you know, dodges and bobs and weaves like we always see him do. And uh, so the combat just kind of continues, but um, this was mentioned in uh, another in, uh, in the same interview that I've been mentioning pretty much this whole time. Um, there's actually a dedicated button to the sun. The sun actually has his own dedicated interactivity button that you can tell him to attack with. You can tell him to interact with you with uh, just in certain ways. So the the child, Kratos' son, actually has his own completely dedicated button, which I think is really cool because um, in God of War Ascension, I'm going to mention God of War Ascension a lot just because it's the latest uh, entry in the series, but uh, in God of War Ascension, you had one button that was just used for special items. You had the um, time-bending amulet where you could uh, assemble, disassemble, reassemble all these different objects by putting them through their lifespan. There was the Eyes of Truth that you could use to remove the um, blue stuff. I forget exactly what it was called. I haven't played the game since a year after it came out. I got it right when it did come out um, and passed it right when it came out, but you know, I, I replay games just like I'm sure a lot of you do, and I haven't played it in a couple years, or probably only like one and a half years. I don't know, this isn't important, but I haven't played it in a bit, so I'm sorry if I sound silly when talking about these things, but yeah. So um, this next part that I think is really cool, Kratos continues fighting the troll, blah, blah, blah. We kind of see some of the more combat fleshed out. We kind of see how he dodges, how it's kind of different, how it's been modified a little bit. Um, there's this one part where the sun fires an arrow at the troll, and it's like a lightning arrow. So, um, as I kind of hinted at earlier, there might be elemental stuff in this thing. Or maybe that's just kind of coincidence. Maybe that's just an upgrade for the bow specifically, or uh, the sun... I don't know exactly, but um, like I said, this is all speculation and everything, but I think it would be pretty cool if it was. I don't know how you guys feel about it exactly. The, I can't speak English and my voice keeps cracking because uh, I've been talking for quite a while now. I've been recording for almost a half hour, but uh, yeah, so Kratos keeps doing his thing as this trailer continues and um, he throws the axe at him again and then he straight up runs up and just slams it into the ground. He brings the axe back to him and slams it into the ground, and he gets pounded a couple times, but Kratos rolls back, and there's this little segment where we see uh, this little uh, icon flashing up that says Spartan Rage Available, where you click L3 and R3 buttons down at the same time, and you activate the Rage Mode, kind of like how you did in the previous games, like even in the very first God of War game in Rage of the Gods, where you would click L3 and R3 and you would activate a special super power-up. Now, what I think is really, really cool, an extra little detail about this trailer, is that um, when he activates the move, and he gets all ragey and he screams like how he does, uh, first off, we see that little top left meter fill up all the way. Uh, that meter that was mentioned earlier when he was talking to his son and he got kind of mad and calmed himself down. This time, he didn't calm down and he unleashed his full rage against the troll. But one detail I wanted to mention, if you look at what's happening while he activates this rage mode, um, there's these ashes that kind of like are floating around him and like his skin grows a little bit br uh, brighter. And this is kind of a nod at, like, his backstory, because if you don't know his backstory, um, he was cursed with skin that would be as white as the moon for the sin of murdering his wife and child. Their ashes were burned, and some sorceress, I don't know if she's a sorceress or a mage or whatever you want to call her, but some old lady binded all, uh, all of those ashes of his dead family to him as a permanent reminder 
uh, of what he did. And that's why he's called the Ghost of Sparta, because he looks very white and ghostly. But I thought that was a really, really awesome little detail, how those ashes were floating around him and his skin grew a little whiter, revealing why he was so angry in the first place, and kind of uh, giving us a little reminiscent look back at to what the classic Kratos always looked like. So after he activates this rage move, he goes up and like a freaking straight up badass just starts punching the holy crap out of this troll. Blood's leaking out of him. And we see this little part, this little section, section segment, whatever you want to call it, where Kratos says, now boy, and he tells his son to shoot an arrow at the troll to kill him. To, again, show, uh, test his strength and to prove himself as a man. But like a complete and total doofus, the sun shoots the arrow into Kratos' chest, and Kratos, being Kratos, is just like, ah, whatever, and he just finishes off the troll on his own. And we see this little segment where the troll falls off of the little ridge that they're fighting on, and the battle is kind of over, which is the most uh, climactic part of the trailer. This is kind of where most of the gameplay was shown, most of the action was shown. So, yeah, that's kind of most of it for the gameplay mechanics. Well... Not all of it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying in this. I'm not I'm not very good at this. You guys should know by now. Uh, I don't usually do this kind of stuff, so I probably sound very unprofessional, so I'm sorry. But like I said, I just love God of War. Don't we all? Don't we all love God of War? If you don't, I don't know why you're watching this. But um, they come up to this area after they defeat the troll where um, they discover this new area and a little... Uh, Top, in the top middle of the screen, we see this little flashing thing that says uh, something discovered. I don't want to try and pronounce it because I know I'm going to butcher it. But um, they discover this area. So I think maybe ex exploration might be a part of this. Uh, it's not going to be an open, wor open world game. It's been confirmed. It's going to be kind of linear, but li like all the other games. And um, as an exception from all the other titles in the series, this one's going to be a little bit more explorable. Uh, they're going to inspire exploration a bit more. It's not going to be purely just kind of the linear, you know, go from point A to point B with a couple of little, <clears throat> excuse me, with a couple of little spaces in between. There's going to be a little bit more exploration, uh, at least as far as I've uh, heard and been told and such. So they continue along their path. And they finally stumble upon uh, the animal that they've been hunting this entire time, their main objective in this whole trailer. So, Kratos hands the boy that uh, bow back, and there's this little interactive part where you're controlling the boy for a second, and Kratos is very actually calmly talking to the boy and telling him, okay, focus, clear your mind. He says, exhale and release, and the boy actually shoots the animal and claims his kill. He, he successfully hunts down the animal. Now, I think this was a really interesting part because, um, again, it's just kind of a hint at Kratos' relationship, relationship with his son. Um, this is a part where Kratos is the most human and the most calm we have, like, ever seen him because, honestly, let's face it, Kratos is always just a big ball of rage and hate and fury and anger. But right now, we actually see him being perfectly calm. He doesn't even seem a little bit angry. He doesn't even, like, the boy gets really excited and is, like, jumping with joy, and Kratos doesn't even say anything like, don't get too cocky, or don't brag about your victories. He just says, good, go claim your kill. Like, perfectly calmly. And I, I was kind of shocked when I saw that. I was like, wow, Kratos has really changed over time. Uh, that's another thing, too. We're not 100% sure exactly how long it's been. Uh, obviously, it's been a very, very long time, but we don't know exactly how long. Um, because Kratos obviously isn't some old man who can barely move anymore, he's still able to take down these giant monsters, obviously, like he, like he does. So, um, I'm really curious as to see, uh, exactly how long it's been. Now, once, uh, the animal is, uh, killed, we see another little thing at the bottom right corner of the screen that says knowledge gained, archery plus 50. So, what I'm thinking might happen is that you get points towards certain categories. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, that's all kind of in speculation right now, so, yeah. So we see them come up to the animal, and it's not actually dead yet. It's not fully killed. Kratos tells the boy to pull out his knife and to finish what he started, to finish the job, to take care of the animal. But we see the kid trying, and as much as he wants to, and as much as Kratos encourages him to, there's a part of him that can't do it all by himself. But Kratos realizes 
he stays calm. He realizes that he can't do it, so he helps him. He puts his hand, on, he puts his hands over the knife with his child, and helps him drive in the blade. And the animal lays there and dies. Now this was a pretty, um, this was a pretty intense kind of father son moment that they have. Now there's this really really interesting part that happens here. The son kind of turns away and is a little bit upset. And for a brief second, we see Kratos looking at his son, and he reaches out his arm, as if to, like, be compassionate and affectionate towards him. But before he can do anything, he simply takes his arm away and pulls the knife out of the animal's body. And he makes the statement, now you are ready. The child says, for what? And Kratos replies, a new beginning. Now, I thought that was just really epic in the first place because the camera zooms out and you see this environment. Now, what I'm thinking is that what we're looking at is actually just a part of the aftermath that Kratos caused after the events of God of War 3. Uh, if you don't know what happened in God of War 3, in God of War 3, you kill all of the gods and the world is basically plunged into this chaotic universe of death and destruction. So, I'm thinking this is just kind of like reminiscent of that. Uh, at least for me, it reminded me of that. I don't Again, a lot of these connections I'm making are probably just over-analytical and me being way too uh, detailed with all of this stuff. So I do apologize if I'm, I seem kind of silly, but like I said, I just love God of War so much. And it's so dear to my heart. So just it's, it's really, really awesome to see all of this. So yeah, it reminded me of that ending scene in God of War 3 where you saw it zoom out and you just saw the world plunged into chaos. Tornadoes. Um, disease, you know, all of the bugs flying around from when you killed Hermes, I believe. Um, that's how you obtain the boots in God of War 3. You take his Hermes boots, which I think it was a really awesome thing for them to do. I'm getting off topic here. I apologize. I always do that. I always ramble. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. Now, another awesome thing that happens here is we see this amazing shot of this dragon flying by, which is crazy to me. Because the closest thing we've seen to a dragon, or the closest thing we've seen to that kind of thing, specifically uh, for Kratos to face, was... Uh, actually, there's a couple of things. A, in God of War 1, where he faces the Hydra, which is very, very similar dragon looking, so it's not like they're driving away from their designs or anything. It's just a different kind of dragon type creature. The ones in the previous titles were just kind of like dragons. But this is actually a dragon, obviously. I don't know why I need to tell you guys that. But, yeah. Like I said, this is just kind of a cool little thing because it just flies right by and it just kind of... It's just awesome. And they don't even really react to it. The uh, Kratos and his son. They just kind of watch it go by and it's just kind of whatever. The child looks behind him as this happens, but... I don't really think it's that important. Just kind of extra little thing. But, yeah, I think it's really cool. And then the classic title, God of War, appears. Now, one thing I kind of want to talk about really quick is I'm not really sure exactly what this title means. I don't know if they're just, just going to leave it as God of War and it's going to be kind of a symbolism of their um, rehashing of the series, of their reimagining, or if they just haven't given it a proper title yet, or if the uh, letters mean something because if you look inside of the omega symbol there's these little nordic symbols so maybe they mean something and they're they they've just decided not to add it to the title i don't know this isn't really too important just like most of what i've talked about in this video but um yeah i just think that's really cool uh it, it looks like a it's just like the rest of the game has been it's gorgeous it's really nice to see a rehash of this because um i repassed the first god of war not too long ago and uh, once you pass the game you unlock some little trailers um, and the trailer is for the original God of War symbol uh, not the God of War symbol uh, one of the extras is the trailers the E3 2003 4 trailer reveal trailer and another trailer that's just more cinematic but um, yeah in that trailer uh, I just remember seeing the original God of War symbol and just to see this kind of different thing with the same exact title it just, it just bring back, brings back memories for me. It's just really awesome. So uh, that pretty much wraps it up for this. Um, again, if you, uh, like I said, I just ramble a lot. I talk a lot. 
because I love the God of War series so much. It's so, so close to my childhood and my life because, um, as you guys know by now, I'm not, I'm still not that old. I'm still a kid. I'm still only 16. And just Kratos has been such a huge part of my life from when I was five years old. And now I'm seeing even more coming out of him. So it's just really, really awesome to see all of this. To see just so much coming out of this series. Like I said, it was the first game I ever remember playing, beating, beating twice, unlocking all of the collectibles for the extras. Just loving to death and playing completely all the way through. And I did the same thing with all the other titles. So um, this is this is like emotional for me too. This is like so awesome to see this. This is just the greatest thing that could have I, that I could have ever wished for at E3 2016. So if you guys have any of your own theories, um, leave them down in the comments below. If I if I said something really stupid, or if there's something really stupid that I didn't say that I really, really should have said, then uh, leave it in the comments below and remind me because, like I said, I'm just gushing over all of the visuals, all of the combat, all of the God of War, all of the Kratos, all of the red tattoo, all of the dust, all of the everything, all of the ashes flying onto his skin. Ugh. So awesome. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. This is a video I usually don't kind of do. I usually don't do discussions that much. Uh, I know the walkthroughs, reviews, gameplays, discussions, and more is on my channel banner, but I don't do discussions and especially not trailer reactions slash breakdowns slash analysis slash whatever you want to call them. I usually don't do stuff like this, so I hope I did a good job. I, I don't know how good of a job I did. You guys will be the judge of that. But um, yeah. Like I said, leave anything I left out or any th theories you guys have in the comment section below. Leave the uh, leave a like for the sake of Kratos. Leave a like for God of War. Leave a like for me because I'll love you a lot if you do. Nah, you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't really care. I just care about this new game coming out. Ugh. It's been confirmed that it's not coming out this year, so it really sucks that it's not. But at the same time, it's awesome because they're giving it as much work as they possibly can. They've been working on it for years, and they've kept it under wraps for a very long time. They, they I had no clue it was happening. I mean, we knew it was coming. We knew a new God of War game was happening, but um, I ha had no clue it was going to happen anytime within the next two or three years. But to get a um, so much gameplay now, I know that it's going to come within the next two or three years. If it, it's been confirmed that it's definitely not coming out this year, but like I said, that's kind of a good thing because that means they're really pouring their heart and souls into it. Uh, the creative director from God of War 2 was working on this one, and uh, he was also on the original God of War team. I think he was an animator or something like that. So it's good to see so many classic faces on this project and... Uh, I've been talking way too much, I apologize, but like I said, I just love God of War so much, so smash that like button for God of War for me, guys, because I love you so much, I love Kratos so much, I love, I love God of War, ugh, I could talk about this all day, I've been talking about this for like, freaking 40 minutes already, so anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more God of War updates and discussions coming soon, um, leave a comment below if you want to see more discussions. Maybe you guys want to see me talk about some other stuff I saw at E3 because, um, there were a couple of other things that I saw that I really liked, but, uh, God of War was the one that stood out to me, so, um, I can't talk, like I said, I'm, I'm going crazy right now because I'm watching this trailer again. Ugh, so many memories. But, I've been talking for way too long, I've tried to say my outro, like, four or five different times so yeah subscribe for more coming in the future like the video if you enjoyed comment your thoughts uh, make sure you guys tell me what you guys want to see next if you guys want to see more discussions reactions reviews analysis more stuff like this coming in the future and i will see all you guys in the next video goodbye everybody god i love kratos so much i love god of war ah